Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. Very special one today. This will be the first video I'm making post 1000 subscribers. So yes, thank you guys so, so much. We uh, finally hit that first small milestone that we will hopefully continue to surpass. Can't believe it. I wasn't really expecting to get a thousand ever, to be fair with you. I mentioned, I think, in like a video before, I had a, a YouTube channel before this called Enero, and that one did terribly. Mostly because I just kind of played random games in fight like getting picked up on YouTube is hard enough as it is, but when you're just playing random games and there's no there's no real structure or substance to you and nobody knows who you are, it's damn near impossible to be discovered on, on, on YouTube. But I made this channel. I enjoy doing anime animation reactions and videos and yeah, it, it, it blew up once I started doing those hell of a boss videos and then transitioning into Ruby and other things and it's just kept going. And eventually, we hit that giant milestone of 1,000 subscribers, which, again, I cannot thank you guys enough for. I, I genuinely cannot. But, now that we've got past all the sappiness, <laughs> we, can get, we can get into Volume 5. Hell yeah. So, we have three character shorts. Now these character shorts are all like five minutes long, so I think I'm just going to do these ones and then the first episode of Volume 5, just to get a little taste on, on, on things to come, and then it'll go back to the usual, you know, two episodes per, per video. But yes, again, last time, I promise, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers, it means the absolute world. If you guys have any ideas on a 1000 subscriber special video thing I could do, I'm more than happy to, to try it out. Like I said, I, I was going to do like a, a Naruto open, like a pack opening, because I've been wanting to collect Naruto cards. And, you know, they're always fun to watch, at least for me anyways. I don't know why I have some weird weird obsession with card opening videos. But, uh, yeah, I need to actually get the cards and get them over here, because the, the, they don't really sell them in the UK all that much. So I have to get them from overseas, which is a bit of a pain. But, without further ado, Volume 5, Weiss Character Short. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let's go. With the unexpected loss of something dear. A typical wise song. I love it. I love it. The that yeah, I've got no idea what these uh, these shorts are, by the way. Just so everybody knows. All right, what the hell? Is she going to the Avatar state or something? What is it? What, what is this? Is she summoning them, or are they being summoned to attack her? Oh, okay. God damn, that was a good attack. Straight through the mouth. I can't tell. Is this before she went uh, to Veil? She has a different costume now, right? Or am I just being stupid? <laughs> Probably that. I'm sure she has a different outfit now. God damn, that one got stabbed. <laughs> I love the little pose that was at. <laughs> Ooh, I have never seen her do that before. What is this? I'm so confused. Is this like a... Like a training? Exercise?
pretty dangerous exercise, I'm not gonna lie. If it is in fact one of one of those. I had a feeling it was winter. Of course anyone could say that <laughs> after the fact, but She was the only one that I could think that, you know, would create these things. I'm not always going to be around to save you, Weiss. I'm sorry. I'll get better. You'll have to if you ever want to leave. Yeah, so th this is before the story, right? Because your winter's still there. Which she wasn't in volume 4. She also left in volume 4. It was. I knew she had a different outfit on. Awesome. Epic. Yeah. Yeah, I knew she had a different outfit. I, I, I could have swore. I think she looks much better in black, by the way. I will just say that. I think the whole, like, all-white thing was was a little bit much, but... Awesome. Yeah, I I don't really get the context behind this one. Like, it seemed a little bit pointless to watch. <laughs> or maybe I'm just, I'm just not seeing the big picture here. All right, now we've got Yangs. Yeah, like I was saying, the... That one we just watched just seemed a little bit random. Come on. So yeah, is this all before they totally they left to go to the beacon? Yanks, I already told you. I'm just not cut out for hand to hand. Why can't I just use my beautiful crescent rose? That's exactly why I wouldn't let you bring it. I will say though, Yang has a massive point here. Every time she's had to go hand to hand combat, she's got her ass beat. Uh, I'm gonna be leaving for Beacon soon. I want to make sure my little sis could hold her own while I'm gone. Give her that weapon, hell yeah. Fine. Without it, not so much. <laughs> Although Yang has a, a massive um, <laughs> nice advantage here. You're not always going to be able to run away from your problems, though. Sometimes you just have to stand your ground and fight, no matter what. All right, enough rest. Get back out here. One second again. I, I, I've, don't ask me how it's taken four volumes, but I've literally only just noticed that Yang and Ruby are literally complete opposites. Her semblance is speed, whereas her uh, Yang's is power. I've only just realized that now. Ruby? <sighs> Ruby! Well, that ain't good. Hey, I like the song. This one from volume. Was it volume two? Ignite? I don't know, all of Yang's songs all sound the same to me. What actually happened to Ruby though? That's what I don't know. Like, she kind of just. <laughs> she kind of ran off and then. Just got to show though that Yang was an absolute powerhouse before she even went to Beacon. Is she getting knocked out by using her own semblance? What the fuck? <laughs> See, this is why you need Ren. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Yang straight up went to sacrifice herself to save her. And now she can use her semblance to <laughs> dish back twice the damage. Dude, just... I was going to say, just let it go, man. God damn. So all these shorts, are these before they all went uh, to Beacon? I didn't know how to help without my sight. I'm so sorry. It's okay. This is exactly what she was training you for. I've always got your back, sis. Punches her in the face. Awesome. All right, Blake, next one. This is also before she went to begin, or is this taking place now? No, this is taking place now. That's definitely her volume four costume. Can I ask you something? Sure. Or is it? Why... Why'd you join the White Fang? Same reason as you. But... But why fight when I pass for human? It's okay. You're not the first person to ask. All right, so this is her just thinking in the I past. I know I look just like any other human girl. And for years, that's how I was raised. We lived in Mantle with the other Faunus working the mines. But my parents wanted something better for me. They managed to enroll me in an Atlas prep school. <laughs> Imagine that. A little Faunus girl from Mantle going to the City of Dreams. I felt like a princess. Was she a goddamn giraffe or something? But I had to follow a set of rules. Or a lizard? I, I have no idea what kind of fauna he is. Dude! No bringing friends home? No talking about my parents. Not cool, you can't and just whip out a gun. Under no circumstances was I allowed to change colors. No one could know I was a Faunus. Ugh. Sounds terrible. They lived a pretty it shitty wasn't. life. It was confusing at first, but it wasn't hard. Especially if it meant being an Atlas. Sometimes the other girls would say things about the Faunus. That they were animals, that they were dirty. Who's that voice actor? And I'd say those things with them. Because I felt like I was one of them. And then, one day, there was a cave-in at the mines. I was at school when the news broke. Apparently, one of the workers tripped while handling some agitated dust crystals. The explosion caused a chain reaction. And my friends snickered. God damn. Pretty brutal. I'm not gonna lie. Go! I lost control. Every inch of me turned blue as I wept. And suddenly, all the girls that I'd laughed and played with were scared of me. Don't make me feel bad for I'm her sorry. now. Don't be. I mean, I know she hasn't really done anything wrong yet, I but... I broke their teeth. <laughs> oh. Alright, I do kind of feel bad for her. 
She seems all right. She seems nice. What happened? He got away. Despite being a part of the the White Fang. I'm sorry. Parkour. I like that little jump. There's no like end parts to this, right? Is there? Nah. I... No, no, there is not. Yeah. Uh, they, these seem pretty random. I'm sure there's there's more context as to why these uh, were shown. Maybe in in volume five. But let's get to the meat of it now. Volume 5, Episode 1. Epic. Right, just before we begin. But yeah, like I was saying, um, they, they, they all seem pretty random. Maybe I'm just being a, a stupid, smooth-brained, you know, imbecile. But uh, yeah, I, this seems so random to watch. I, words can't form in my brain. But we're on to the meat of it. of Mistral. I've been waiting for. Uh, it's about time. Who was that? Whose idea was it to walk again? Well, we did face many obstacles: broken airships, destroyed. Oh, was, was that Nora? Oh, you know, oh, it was. People and monsters that tried to murder us. <laughs> we were fine. Sorry, but Nora Probably just sounded almost died. Hey. horrendous. Hey. <laughs> so, how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic route. I'm surprised he's actually taking them, considering, you know, his semblance and what have you. Wow. This is awesome! There is a town in Genshin Impact that, that looks so a so lot so like <laughs> this right oh now. My God. Vendors here will sell you just about anything, whether they should or not. They really made the most out of these mountains. Every inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. And we are going up! Oh, is this where I, do I get to see Lionheart in this one? Woohoo! So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. I just hope I haven't been a burden. <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. <laughs> what the? Money makes the world go around. Is everything okay? I don't know. I'm still over Lake Matsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistral. Someone must be close. Mayhay, Mayhay, we are a small passenger flight and our Huntress is down. We aren't equipped to deal with this. Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline. Get him off us! You know why is gonna go and save them. Uh, or it's a trap. We're going to help them, right? What? No. I'm trying to avoid them. But they'll die. Look, if we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Besides, this is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. I just want to finish this job and get home. Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. Well, she's gonna leave that ship and she's gonna kick ass. Or maybe not. So is this their academy? We made it. 
And it only took two weeks, eh, Ruby? <laughs> Crow not want to see him. Hello. Maybe try louder. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. No, this isn't right. Yeah, Come this on. is dodgy. I don't like this. <laughs> Nora just shoots him right there and then. <laughs> uh, Professor Lionheart? <coughs> Crow! For crying out loud, nearly scared me half to death! I like it. Me? I get it. The cowardly I lion, right? For us at the entrance. Oh, right. Apologies. I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? No, time didn't slip ah, away from you, my must friend. Be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. Ruby Rose. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart, at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but. What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Crow, the children! Already know. I filled them in. What do you mean your staff is away? You filled them in? So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? Definitely not. He's most certainly not what I thought he was going to be. I thought he was going to be this badass dude. I'm not going to lie to you. Seems like a bit of a bitch. Unbelievable! Total garbage! We can't, can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with, with this. this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. <laughs> Guys. Everything's gonna be okay. Have I missed something? I. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's alright. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. <sighs> Did something you happen with Blake in the last me. episode and I'm just... Please, I, I just need to talk. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Blake, Corsican Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight, and they deny knowing anything, and everything we found on your scroll, they talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. You can't prove anything. That what scroll might not have is been this enough chick's to deal? them up, but it's enough to sway the fawn is here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And neither should you. Your plan isn't going to work, Blake. Please. Just leave Menagerie. I have always late. wondered how the hell are their masks even on? <laughs> like, this is magnetically glued to their skin or something. To to make me. I know they probably just didn't bother to animate, like, straps around the head or whatever, but, you know. It's, it's always bugged me. I don't really want them to fight, though. They, they seem... I mean, Let's I know the friends, Crow. but... This all seems very reckless. Feels bad. Even for you. No, reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about before the fall of Beacon. But since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Has he give up his, uh, his relic? The only kingdom to Salem. Does see that guy was there at the end of season three, right? In every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, Elysian knights attacking citizens. 
and then nothing. You could feel the dread in the air. With all of that negativity, you can imagine what it was like when the Grim came for us. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. We lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council still at odds with representatives from Atlas. First, it was the dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. Don't you fucking speak about Iron Daddy like that. On top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is here. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? I thought you filled them in. Mostly filled in. Look, there's a lot to cover, okay? I quit teaching for a reason. <laughs> for a life of alcoholism, hell yeah! The four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. So Cinders can get the choice one, if she hasn't already got it. What happened to her? She was determined at first, when she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. She ran, abandoned her training, everyone. That was over a decade ago. There's no telling where she could be now. That time she's been hiding for over 10 years? At least I have a pretty good idea. That is Are running you from your responsibilities like it's a not champ. Exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years? Where? I did some digging around. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwind tribe. Raven. Ah, oh, good God, Raven! Yang's mom? That's right. So Yang's mom, her tribe, has the Spring Maiden. It's gonna make for an awkward reunion. That's about where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to after raids and scouting missions. Ravens managed to gain a lot of followers since she returned to the tribe. And I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. <sighs> With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. I don't think we have a few, a weeks. few weeks. That's right. Leo, maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. <laughs> I like how petty he is. <laughs> Perhaps you didn't hear me. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities when the threat of war is just on the horizon. Yeah, yeah but a spring maiden. We'll do it ourselves. You pretty and I are trained huntsmen, and these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Pretty high on the priority yeah. list. You know what I'm saying? Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this. We need to get Spring as far away from here as possible, but Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched, and I'm not the fighter I used to be. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe. You seem like a massive pushover. No had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter. And we'll be lost. 
We get one shot at this. And it needs to be perfect. <sighs> you know, Oz wouldn't be happy with any of this if you were here. Perhaps you're right. <sighs> not, I'm doing the very best I can. Oh, one second. You know, I denied the fact that Oz is dead for the longest time because I didn't see a body, I didn't see him die. And there's a rule in, a sh in shows, especially anime, that if you do not see the body and you do not see them die, they are not dead. Now, technically speaking, I know Oz is still a relevant character because, you know, he's currently sharing a body with my, my dude, Oscar slash Oliver. I keep forgetting his name. I'm pretty sure it's Oscar. But I fight, like, if he genuinely is dead, no coming back or you know he can come back but by some weird means hence the, the whole sharing a body thing that's such a sucky way to do it and what, what what's the point like you you build up well obviously you didn't even build up to be an absolute powerhouse but you know he seemed like you'd be an absolute powerhouse there's people in the comments being like yeah my dude's strong as fuck but the only time you ever really see him fight is in a flashback and then obviously when he fought cinder but then again you literally saw him do one thing and then cinder's ran off if she genuinely did kill him, that is such a disappointing way to kill off a character like Oz. Like, Roman just got randomly aired by a Grim, which sucked for him, but... Then again, it did just fly away. I'm convinced Salem was just like, I don't know why she would want to protect Roman out of everyone. He doesn't, he doesn't seem like a powerhouse character that she would want to protect, but... Yeah, he just kind of got aired. Randomly. This show, apart from Pira, has a way of, well, in, um, in Penny, but I, I, I refuse to believe Penny is completely dead, because she is an android, so I, I feel like she can come back somehow. But uh, other than that, they have a way of killing off characters in the most shittest way possible. There has to be something Giant rant over. What about Cinder? She came with Emerald and Mercury from Haven. Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Well, I can't say this has been a warm reunion, Leo. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way. But I yeah, can do a two-week journey, dude. You've got no idea. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. I mean, you know that he's just going to go off and do it himself. There's no way he's just going to give up like nice that. meeting you, Professor. Likewise. I mean, I already know there's something up with him, because, like I said, that guy was talking to him at the end of Volume 4. But even so, like... Oh, Leo. We have got to work on your improvisational skills. Yeah. I knew it. Is that that guy's semblance or something? Or was that just, a, like, a bug? So, what do we do now? You four head back to the house. I need a drink. Was there no way for him to give him a, a hint? That, you know, someone's listening in? Unless he is on their side, for whatever Excuse reason. Excuse me. Oh, it's a scene again. Hell yeah. You know, I don't think they allow kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up, I'm getting there. You must look insane, though, like, basically chatting to himself. Thing um, is, um, Crow supposed to tell you. doesn't seem surprised in the slightest. I'd like my cane back. So he obviously must know that Oz has this ability to share a soul. Sorry, share a body. It's good to see you again, Oz. Just right. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be drinking? Oh, water. It's hot out. Oh. Right, yes, sure. of course. 
water. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? You look like a regular huntress. Buck a go. Hey, there you go. Sorry, that was almost frustrated me there. And a beauty at that. How could I not recognize that voice? Seriously. Not too bulky. Not too lean. You're just right. You're about to get your ass yep. beat. Like I said, I'm good. And your hair. Don't touch it. <gasps> oh! Dude, relax. Like, I know you. <laughs> the fuck was that? That was the most cartoonish. I mean, I know it is literally this a cartoon, but even so. He's been driving me crazy. <laughs> oh, again. I know, I'm sorry I keep posing it. But, uh, yeah, she does not seem to be able to control her uh, emotions very well. I mean, I know she, she got angry real quick, but... Like, I mean, that guy was harassing her, don't get me wrong, but she's definitely capable of whooping his ass as seen. So, like, she, she could have dealt with that in a, in a far less, you know, making him bounce off the walls kind of way. It seems like she's kind of losing her so, steady grip on life. Parts? Thanks. And I'm uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here too far from the kingdoms. Only person worth noting around here is, well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Thanks again. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go oh, messing with bandits. They're Raven, right? So I hear. Went straight off my head there for a second. <laughs> I mean, you kind of had that one coming, dude. Like, if you're gonna be a creep, you're gonna get your ass beat. Girly. Seriously, this isn't over. <sighs> I heard you're looking for someone. <laughs> Indeed, I am, Bakugo. Indeed, I am. Although, don't smile. You'll crack the fucking camera doing that shit. Mm -mm. Hey, my man. I, Can I help you? Indeed, John. Yeah, is there a Ruby Rose here? Why? Oh, God, they got serious real quick. <laughs> well, I found him. <laughs> Absolutely hammered. I found him. What is going on out there? Can't a girl read her comics in peace? <laughs> Crow, did you get drunk again? No. Maybe. Oh. You have silver eyes. Are you? Uh, uh, well, my name is Oscar Pine. Wait, what? <laughs> you probably know me as Professor Ospen. <gasps> <laughs> I did it! <laughs> <laughs> And that is why he's my favorite character. Is there an end, um, end scene to this? Oh god. Oh god! Well, let's not look at that. Alright, interesting ending. Hell yeah. Like, 
I don't know, like, the, the first little bit was a little bit slow, I'm not gonna lie to you, but, uh, I think it, it, like, the end part of that first episode really kicked it up a little bit. I cannot wait now to watch the rest of it, because I want to see what their reactions are to, you know, this whole Oscar, Ozpin, combined body situation is going on. It reminds me of a game, actually, I don't know if anyone's ever heard of it, it's called Beyond Two Souls. Super cool game, very story-driven. Um, I would highly recommend it if nobody's played it before. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, really cool. Actually, I, I quite enjoyed those. Like I said, that the the first like character short things kind of didn't really seem relevant. Again, probably me just being stupid and you know not seeing the bigger picture. But yeah, I uh, I didn't really see the point of those. But I'm sure I'm sure you guys will let me know because you know. You, you're damn near expert. I, I swear to God, I get like a million comments. It's a bit dramatic, but you know, I get a lot of comments and there's like just so many people just giving me so much information about like all of the stuff that I've missed in the episodes and the OSTs and the, even Ruby Chibi, which just seems like a normal thing. I get loads of comments about all the little, all the little bits that I've missed and all the underlying um, messages that, that go over your head when you first watch it. Because uh, some people have rewatched this a lot. Not me, clearly. I've, I'm, this is my first watch through, so everything just goes straight over my head. But, yeah, awesome. I really enjoyed that first episode of Season 5. So, hopefully, it keeps on like this. I know people said the pacing's pretty bad at times. And, like, I did. I do think the beginning of that episode was, good. was a bit slow. But, I'm not really bothered by that. But, yeah, can't wait to watch more. Again... I know I said before it was going to be the last time, but thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. It really does mean the absolute world that 1,000 people have clicked that subscribe button. It gets me one step closer to, you know, 2,000, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know what I was going to say. It just, it, you know, it's cool. I like, it's cool. I like interacting with you guys. So the higher the number, the higher amount of people, the bigger the audience the more I can interact with you guys and, and have fun with it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I can't wait to begin season five or well, continue, I guess, season five, you know, really get into the meat of it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great week and I shall see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye.